My next uh, guest is an Oscar-nominated actress who starred in such films as Blue Velvet, Rambling Rose, and Jurassic Park. Her latest film is called Citizen Ruth. Your wife is in that one, too, right? Yes, she yeah, is. She's good. No love scenes with Laura. No. no <laughs> uh, it opens nationwide on January 10th. Please welcome the lovely Laura Dern. <laughs> each other. Yes, we, we sure do. do. I worked with Kelly, and in fact, uh, Burt Reynolds, who is in Citizen Ruth, gave me for my wrap present a Welcome Back Cotter lunchbox. Ooh. Which John signed, and I think there may have been some reference to Kelly and I. <laughs> Kelly and I on that being, a, we're, we call each other each other's wives. So, yes. we, but we don't have a love scene in the movie. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Now, I know you told me you were upset about something. You said you wanted to apologize. Yeah. I mean, this seems to be eating at you, so what, 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 you should get it out now. Well, um, we were talking about Christmas shopping, and I had a, just a horrible, horrible experience <laughs> yesterday. My first and last experience shopping this season, because I think I need to stay far away. I did one of those things where you say something, and it's taken completely the wrong way. Faux pas. A faux pas. I got into an elevator and a lovely family uh, who, if they're watching, I'm apologizing right here on national television, what got in with me, a, a very large man and his large wife and their four substantial large, large children. <laughs> and they had a cat carrier with a large cat inside <laughs> and tons of Christmas presents and everything. And they, it was kind of overwhelming. And they all came into the elevator and I said, whoa, big group. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, maybe, just they one know, of those. Well, how do you know? Well, maybe they didn't know you no, took it. Uh, they hated me. They just hated me. Well, you just, you well, just didn't mean they were law. You meant they no, were. No, I meant it's nice... a big group. So much stuff and the cats and the Well, you called me a big star. I didn't get insulted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hefty a star. Big star. <laughs> you know, my mom did that once. A very similar story. Yes, she did. My, my dad was selling insurance. He brought this client home, and, and the guy had um, had a, uh, a wooden leg. And my oh, father no. said, "Whatever you do, don't mention." The wooden leg, you know, and of course my mother, <laughs> you know, and she's feeding the guy, and he was a very nice man. I was just a little kid, you know, right. and, and my mom is feeding the meatballs, and the oh, guy, oh, no. this is delicious, Mrs. Leno. Oh, my mother says, oh, you eat like a man with a hollow leg. <gasps> <laughs> so as soon as she said, she goes, oh, like this, you know, and of course the guy was okay, and my father, right. oh, oh, that's it, oh my God, and, and, and so it's the same. It didn't mean anything. Right. It's just, just an expression. Aww. So, you see, so they they're probably watching and they yeah, forgive they, you. They forgive. Yeah. Are you into Christmas this year? Do you get into the whole I am. Tradition I'm thing? happy to be home. We've all been traveling a lot lately, so it'll be nice to be home with my family. I love spending time with my grandma, and we love playing games and hanging out. And In fact, last Christmas, I taught my grandmother for the first time charades, which she's very excited now that she's gotten it down to play again. But the first time I taught her, she's the sweetest Mobile, Alabama, Southern Belle. <laughs> And she didn't understand how to play. All right, Mobile. And she said, uh, what do I do? And I explained the rules and you say, move your book. And so she got up, uh, sort of forgetting everything I told her, and uh, stood in frozen panic. And I said, you say movie. So she went, movie, OK, movie. Bo oh, and a book, OK. A book. I said, Grandma, now, now you have to tell how many words are in the title. That's the next part. She goes, oh, OK, gone with the uh, wind. <laughs> <laughs> It was like the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Did you guess right away or did no, you let it go? No, we kept going. going. I let we it kept go going for a while. <laughs> but this year we've got it down. Do you remember the last time I saw you? It was about four months ago? I do. And, and you look like you were going nuts. <laughs> this was we went to Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. You were like yes. two rows over. Yes. And like the clown came out and started I, doing something. I got the feeling that you might have understood somehow. I thought that I had I'm not found a, clown a kindred. Guy. I am not a clown girl. They terrify me. They no, terrify why? me. Why? So I, I just, first of all, the idea of clowns is terrifying because I know that means there's a show going to happen. <laughs> and often it involves audience participation, which being an actor, you would think I'd be. You think no. you'd be out the yay. No, audience participation <laughs> just freaks me out. And they come out, you know, the beginning of Cirque du Soleil, they, they, go that, they do that kind of opening, you know, and, they're like, and they come up and they start pulling people from the audience, which yeah. is just terrifying. I, I just but don't. You, but you're, Mines, you're in Jurassic Park with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are, you know, they're, I get it. Do you, do you like Bozo? Oh, I love Bozo. Well, I you do did? like Bozo. Well, Bozo's a clown. I loved Bozo, and Hobo <laughs> Kelly was sort of clowning. Hobo like. Kelly? Yeah. The, what is it about you? Is it that the clown is going to grab you or something? Do you think? I, I think I, maybe that's it. 
Or maybe I had just some traumatic, uh, recurring nightmares. She, did you go child. out with a lot of clowns? Or yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. That's what it Guys is. Guys with big noses? Only? No. But my, it started with mimes, and then it kind of went on to clowns. You know, I was trying to find something on you. I said, I see what kind of tape. I said, see if she's done some commercials. Have you ever done a commercial? No, but I want to. You want to? I Isn't want to. Isn't that going to. backwards? Don't you? When you're in the biggest That's movie of all time. That's what my agents tell me. Yeah, but I've begged them. I, I've decided now I would love to be the new Madge for Paul Olive. <laughs> because I you love You mean Madge, Madge? You're soaking in it? That yeah. Dishwashing. Like a, she goes, Madge, look, I got a new rock. Honey, your hands look like rocks. You remember? <laughs> remember Madge? And the, big, the thing that I would love, and I would like to relegate you guys in it, too, is that we should start doing, and you're appropriate to play the pilot, in-flight safety videos. You know, Ooh. now on video, you, and you could be the guy with the seat belt, and I can get up. And I love also stewardesses. You get sort of the new stewardesses who do, you know, they kind of go like this, and they tell you where the exits are. And then when they've been doing it for years, they're like, Front egg, you know, they get that they've got the wrist thing going. Really They're very don't comfortable care. with themselves. Yeah. So I'd like to do that. That's my do next project I'm working on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. It's... I think that'd be good. It's a good goal. Your right? agent must be real excited <laughs> about it. <laughs> John actually has a production company. They're developing it for me. Really? Do so it for sweet. a video for my, my plane. Yeah, and, for and his I'm plane. Producing it. Now that, that would be, that to, would be yeah. interesting. Yeah, safety, um, safety yeah. instructions yeah. by Laura Dern. <laughs> and it's a private plane. You could spice it up That's a little bit. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> now, let me ask you about Citizen Roots. Uh, you know, yeah. I haven't seen this film. We're going to see it this weekend. But this is really a, a, a sort of a biting satire, isn't it? It's it is. It's, I think, very hilarious. And, it's uh, brilliant. I've seen it. It uh, is brilliant. Um, but it's, it, it just cracks me up. And it is uh, a dark comedy that deals with the, my character, Ruth Stoops, who's a pregnant... <laughs> paint sniffing girl who's just out of her mind <laughs> who gets caught between uh, the world of pro-choice and anti-abortion protesting. And she gets stuck in the center. And she gets center. stuck in the middle and everybody is fanatical and loses sight of what they were fighting for in the first place and uh, I think it's wonderfully irreverent, really funny. And I well I heard nice things. Is that why you got the uh, the award in Montreal? Was oh, it no, that no, film? She's stunning yeah. in this. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, stunning. Well, we'll check it out. Oh, well, congratulations on your Montreal. Was it Montreal Best Montreal, Act? yeah. Well that's, that's great. Actress. That's great. Yeah, thank now John, you. I know you got a split, right? You, you're playing when you just want to I just want to stay for you, honey. Oh, okay. my friend. All right, we'll let John go. We'll be back with Stone Temple Pilots right after this. Thank